We'll start by adjusting the shape a bit to match better with our reference images and round out any flat areas. Lip topology with subsurf off still needed a bit more smoothing out, so going back to adjust that. Much of the work involves smoothing and rounding out the inner nostril form to give it a more natural and softer look. We'll add another span here to help define the nostril's outer crease line. In this part, we're basically following the same workflow as we did when detailing the eye socket and detailing the mouth, toggling between subsurf on and off, wireframe and shaded, smoothing out areas, adding edge loops, and adjusting the topology to create volume and crease definition where needed.